identities, conditional identities, equations, and inconsistent equations. All equations we have considered so far had a fixed number of solutions, roots. In most cases, they had only one solution, i.e. they were true for only one value, while for the rest of the numbers the equations were false. For example, we have the following shown on screen. Is true only for x equals 5, as 2 5 minus 1 is equal to 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. If we try to insert another value to replace the variable x, we obtain a false equation, as the left part is not equal to the right one. For example, taking x equals 3 yields 2 3 minus 1 is equal to 6 minus 1 is equal to 5, not 9 as it must be. However, there are some special equations known as identities, which give a true result for whatever value of their variables. For example, we obtain the following as shown on screen. Is an identity as whatever value we take for x, the left part will be always equal to the right part. Let's try some numbers for x. Thus, for x equals 1, we have the following as shown on screen. For x equals 3, we have the following shown on screen. For x equals 12, we have the following as shown on screen. For x equals 0, we have the following as shown on screen. And so on. On the other hand, equations that have a fixed number of roots are known as conditional identities, as they are only true for specific values of the variables. All equations discussed so far in previous tutorials, including the quadratic ones, belong to this type. For example, we have the following shown on screen. Is a conditional identity, as it is true only for x equals 3 but not for other values of the variable. There is also a third category of equations known as inconsistent equations, which are always false for all values of their variables. For example, we have the following as shown on screen. Belongs to this type, as whatever value of x we take, gives not, true equality. For example, for x equals 4, we have following shown on screen. And it is clear that this is not true. For x equals 0, we have the following shown on screen. Which is not true either, and so on. That is all for lesson 9.3.2. To continue this tutorial please watch, 9.3.3, Identities, Identify Conditional Identities and Inconsistent Equations. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.